G'day and welcome to Discover Down Under. This week, Brookie and I find ourselves right out the front of the Alexandra Headland Surf Lifesaving Club. It's the hub of Queensland's Sunshine Coast. Tim, when people mention the Sunshine Coast, the first thing that comes to my mind is the amazing coastline. But there's just so much more to do here. Is there ever, Brookie? Well, in this episode, I'm going on a really unique tour and maybe checking out a top tourist park. Well, I am too, and I'm going to spend a little time underwater. Oh, crikey. Well, We've got so much to do, we've got to get moving. Tim, have I got time for a quick surf? Of course you have. Really? No, not really. Come on, let's go. No, I'm driving though. OK, but drive fast, bro. The Sunshine Coast is situated on the Pacific Ocean coastline, eh, about an hour and 20 minutes north of Brisbane. On the nearby Noosa River, you'll find one of the must-do things. These are the gondolas of Noosa, owned and run by Richard Ricardo Wilchke. Oh, hey, mate. Very well, thank you. They've been operating day or evening cruises for 16 years. Who would have guessed that Noosa would have all of these beautiful canals and waterways? It's fantastic. We're really lucky to have this estuary and this beautiful canal all the Noosa Sound here, fantastic houses, restaurants, all within uh, a very short distance to the beach. Mm -hmm. Now, will you sing? I do. On, yes. uh, every now and again, you get me to, to, <laughs> to a little bit of singing. <laughs> but it's not very good, so I probably, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Have you had Italians in the gondola? Oh, have they? they? Yep. Yeah, no, they're quite impressed. I don't know if it's a gondola or whether it's the moonlight on the water, but you're looking fantastic. Oh, Richard. thank you. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty, pretty frisky. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking pretty good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Richard. Now, now, boys, settle down. I hear that they also offer a very unique dining experience. It is. It's, it's a great way to uh, have pre-dinner drinks, go to a restaurant or get picked up from a restaurant. We do moonlight dessert cruise, very popular. I challenge you, discoverers, to find a better drive through service than this one. Gentlemen, your shampoo. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Harry. Thank you. And Harvey Best got a with Tarama Salato Wakami. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Rookie, you're going to have to take it from here. I'm a little bit occupied. Leave it to me, Tim. I'm checking into Alex Beach Cabins and Tourist Park in the heart of the Sunshine Coast. <music> Resident managers Les and Margaret Woodbury have put their 30 years experience on show in this great beachside location. Now, I love that you can hear the beach. It's the waves are, you know, breaking, what, only a couple hundred metres away? Yep, yep, we, we hear them quite often. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. And lots of facilities around, of course. We're not far from the shops and, yeah, you can just walk up and get your supplies. We've been walking distance to everything. The beach is just across the road. Uh, the Alex Surf Club, 250 metres, just down the road. And uh, just a short walk into the um, CBD, just one kilometre. And yeah, we're pretty much in the centre of everything. Being a top tourist park, you must have so many people that come through with their membership card to get their discounts. Yes, Definitely, we do. yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're, they're, they're special people, and we treat them that way. Treat everybody special, but we love to see our top tourist club members. So, how many cabins here at Alex Beach? We've got 80. 80 cabins, that's great. Yeah. The good, Huge. good thing about that is that we offer six levels of accommodation from budget cabins to bells and whistles. Not everybody wants the same. Affordability comes into it and um, budget cabins are popular but then also our top of the range cabins are very sought after as well. We've got a heated swimming pool. Heated, yeah. even better. Games room for the kids. We've got a camp kitchen. Children's, uh, children's playground. playground. Yep. Now, I did see the camp kitchen has a pizza oven. It that has. must be very popular. It is. Yeah, a lot of people use it. And it's not just us, Brookie. <laughs> Craig from Brisbane is a big fan. Now, is this your first time at the park? No, I've stayed here actually a few times because usually I 
pick this place because you know the facilities are awesome here. It's so centralised. Like I go cable skiing just over the river over there. So come here in the middle of everything. You know, Mullumbah's right down the road. Cable skiing's right up the road. Beach just there. So <laughs> that's great. Well, it's so central for you, and you've got everything that you want. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> well, Tim, look, I've found someone without grey hair. I think that's really groovy, and he's even younger than me. And he's having a great time here on the Sunshine Coast. It's what it's all about. When we return, Brookie reveals the best place to come face to face with creatures of the deep. And I get deep in another top tourist park. Everywhere you turn, perfect coastline and beautiful lush hinterland. Take it all in. This is the Sunshine Coast. <laughs> let me let you in on a little secret, discoverers. If you're looking for a relaxing sanctuary at the centre of a cosmopolitan playground, then the Noosa Caravan Park is your place. Looks like the perfect hideaway, Tim. Stacey and Peter Jenner know they're onto a good thing. In Noosa, it's so busy and, and there's so much going on. And this is like, a, 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 like an area of serenity, surrounded by madness. <laughs> <laughs> How beautiful is it? It is. It is. Very yeah. beautiful. You've got great cabins on site. And, uh, and I guess from family cabins all the way down to your sort of luxury two-bedders. Yes, we do. Two bedrooms that will sleep four adults, four children, yep. maximum of six, right down to our standard one-bedroom cabin. How many sites? A hundred. hundred sites. Mm -hmm. Nice. But um, room for fifth-wheelers? Yes, we've got room for big, big rigs, fifth-wheelers. Um, up to 30 foot in length. Oh, nice. So. Nice. Great camp kitchen. Beautiful. It's in, in amongst the palms. It is. You're a top tourist park, so you offer all the discounts and specials for the members. We do. But I reckon it's a really family orientated park here. It's beautiful. Most certainly. We have our wood-fired pizzas come in on a Saturday night. Oh, yep. to the park. To the park. So you yep. put your orders in? Well, I better put my order in now. While you're at it, Tim, find out what some of the caravanners think of this place. Margaret, Graham, what do you think about the serenity? Absolutely beautiful. The facilities are lovely. The, uh, the staff in the office are really helpful and um, and, you know, we've had, we haven't used the camp kitchen, but uh, we've had a look at it and mm. it would rate one of the better ones that we've seen. Mm. So, uh, yes, we think this is an absolutely beautiful park and we're so glad that we're here. Do you think, Margaret, that you might be able to take on the $20 challenge? Well, we can try it. <laughs> well, I'll explain the way it works. What we need you to do is take the $20, buy some local produce, and with whatever you've got in the fridge, in the van, prepare Brooke and I a breakfast, a lunch or a dinner. And we'll rate you, you'll go in the competition, and the next thing you know, you'll be up to pussy's bow in the medic <laughs> Well, I feel certain that we'll be able to do something. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Come on, Tim, I want to get going. What have you found, Brookie? I've been checking out the deals on the CIL Travel Saver website, and with this little card, we can get fabulous discounts on heaps of travel offers and attractions all around the country. And I've got one picked out to keep our water theme going. Brooke Hanson and water? You go. I'm going to stay right here and check out the park. OK, Tim, you don't have to tell me twice. Tim doesn't know what he's missing. Underwater World is one of the most popular attractions on the coast. And with my CIL Travel Saver card, I even get discounted entry. It's a wonderful reminder of the great beauty that lies on and beneath our oceans. And you can check it all out without getting wet. We do have a very special guest here today. It's Brooke from Discover Down Under. So she's going to come on down. Okay, what we're going to get you to do is hold that up above the watermark, we'll show you how. 
Fantastic. Yep. Yeah. A little bit higher. That's it. And Groucho is going to jump into the water, line that up from underneath, leap up, grab it from your fingertips. You ready? While the whole experience is pretty amazing, there's still nothing like coming face to face with these amazing creatures. Katie Myers is just one of the staff here who gets to do it every day. Now you must have so many visitors come through caravanners and campers that want to get up close and personal to some of the animals. Yeah, we do offer a number of ways to get up close with the animals. We have touch tank. We also here at Seal Island offer seal swims and seal encounters. Oh, so you can swim with the seals? You can, yeah. And the seal encounters, you can meet one up close and learn a lot about them. This is little Nelson. He's a New Zealand fur seal. Now, his eye injury was quite old. Um, so it looks like he'd lost it very early on in his life while he was still suckling milk from mum. But once he was weaned at about 8 to 12 months of age, he was on his own to catch fish. And missing that eye, he simply wasn't able to catch any. Oh, he's just gorgeous. <laughs> After the break, a real treat. The voice contestant, Corey Hargraves, giving Happy Hour the rock star treatment. And Tim checks out a hot new van. Ah, the Sunshine Coast. You are the sunshine of my... Ah, you know how it goes. Beautiful. Serene. And rockin' Tim. Mate, how long have you been coming up here on holiday? Oh, mate, a few years now. I love bringing the uh, wife and kids up here. Star of The Voice, country singer and all-round top bloke, Corey Hargraves. I mean, how's the singing going? Mate, the new album's out. It's going great guns. Uh, it's got the single out and, um, yeah, really, really proud of it. Mate, it's a ripper album, I must admit. It's, I'm smashing it in the iPod. Good work. Oh, well, mate, I'll tell you, Cause we've got a bit of a happy hour coming up. Do you mind jumping up and singing a few? Here at the park? Yeah. Mate, you know I'm not one to miss a happy hour. <laughs> oh, mate, it'd be great if you could. I'll see you up there. I know that loving me is never easy. Not that loving you. Suddenly I had to make up a mind. I know we had a conversation about the rest of my life. If I'd spend it with you. Performing can sure work up an appetite. Corey was pretty hungry as well. There's nothing like a happy hour barbecue to get everyone in party mode. Sweet, sweet love. There's mine. Yeah, mate, all yours. And after a quick refuel, Corey has one more treat in store for us. I keep on running, but I don't know where to go. And like a band of gypsies, we roll down that highway. And I keep on running, but I don't know where to go. And like a band of gypsies, we roll down that highway. And now I'm on the run, I'm just a truck stop Elvis. Great to see you, David and Elaine. Hello. How are you? Are, are you loving? Are you loving the caravan park? It's amazing. It, isn't Absolutely. It beautiful? Yes. It's yes. beautiful. Well, talking about beautiful, we're of course giving away a Swift oh. at the moment on the television program, oh, really? and oh, I see you've got the big brother. Yes. yes. Of the Swift. Yes. And it's the luxury big brother too, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Top of the line that Swift have. Oh, it's beautiful. What made you pick it? What made me pick it was yes. really my background knowledge of building race cars for about 30 odd years. Okay. And uh, I decided that uh, I needed something that was going to give me the technology that I understood mm -hmm. that was also lightweight, yet extremely strong and very easy to tow. These were uh, originally designed by a uh, Formula One engineer. Oh. OK. Mm. Well, and, and so what advantages does that give the van? Well, it gives it uh, the strength 
mm. that uh, is required for the Australian conditions. Yes. And it gives you the, uh, the ability to have the internal temperature uh, at any temperature you, you, you like, whether it be hot or cold. Oh, OK, because yeah. there are an English Built band. band. Yes, yes. That's right. yeah. So they're, they're used to much colder weather than we are. Well, if it's snowing outside in Europe, the family has to be warm inside, so they're a fully ducted heated system internally. Oh, wow. Yeah. And they're the most beautiful vans for amenities. They really care about that side of the, of the van, the, yes. the bathroom and the shower is really beautiful. You could quite easily put have two people in the bathroom area, one in the shower and, and one doing whatever they, they want. Brushing their teeth. Yeah, brushing their teeth, yeah, no problem at all. <laughs> Um, plus, the toilet is also electric. No, it's because they're such a light van, it, it's, you, you no longer have to sort of buy a big four-wheel drive towing unit for a van like this, because I know the Swift that we're giving away. Yes. You can tow it with a small, yes. a small four-door car. Yes, this particular van, if you wish to, you could quite easily tow it with a Commodore. That's gobbledygook. <laughs> <laughs> a, a woman has to have a good kitchen. Yes. What? What? One what, for you? Did you? You would not have like just oh, let him pick. pick. Yeah. Oh, it's got the microwave, the oven, it's gas or electricity. Either way, oh. and um, it works beautifully. It's just a brilliantly produced van. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. And hitching up with these is so simple. I'm calling it glamour vanning. <laughs> I, I, I actually stole that off Dave. <laughs> well, I'm not going to hold you up any longer. It's just great. Oh, lovely to meet you. Tim, yeah, thank you very much for coming by. My man. pleasure. My pleasure meeting you. I love, I love your show. Oh, my God. Oh, you, you had me on hello. <laughs> After the break, the most anticipated $20 cooking challenge of the series. Great balls, Graham. <laughs> and Tim reveals his groovy gadget. It's a mouth-watering beauty. Welcome back to Discover Down Under on Queensland's Sunshine Coast and a chance to fire up the barbie. But this one is a little different. This week, my gadget can do all your cooking, can keep you warm at night, and your wife is gonna love her. Can I introduce you to the Oz Pig? This is the most sturdiest, ready to rock camp stove you're ever gonna see. Check this out. She is such a hardy unit. We've got a spark arrestor on the flue, so she's not going to cause fires. But there's a mountain of accessories to get as well, from, like, a charcoal griller all the way up to a rotisserie. Very cool. If you want to know more about the Ozpig, hit the website on the bottom of the screen now. Maybe we could have it round the right way. That's better. And the very best thing of all is... It looks like a pig! <laughs> Time for the $20 cooking challenge, Tim. Our hosts, Margaret and Graham, have found inspiration for today's dish at a local factory. How beautiful, Brooke. <laughs> Tim, this is fantastic. <coughs> Graham's done the meatballs. Yes. We've got the special ingredients from the ginger factory. Yes. You can see the ginger just like glaze on glaze top of the meatballs. Let's get into it. All right. I'm going to eat this before you are. OK. <laughs> it's All always right. a race. All right, have a race. You go. Mm. Mm. Yum. Yeah. Tim, you're going to love those. I can tell. Great balls, Graham. <laughs> <laughs> they are brilliant. They are very special. I can't fault it. I can't fault it. Oh, I know. And look, and it's so healthy for you too, Brooke. Like, mm. the food, beautiful. The wine, exceptional. The company, magnificent. Oh. The use of local produce. Through the roof. Yeah. It's like, it's... The overall experience, Tim, today, I'm going to rate it a 9.6. Oh. <laughs> That's I loved it. I, I know more about wine than when I walked in, and I'm going to have to give it a 10. <gasps> I'm gonna, I'm, this is, because this is as good as it gets. But let's take a look at the leaderboard. It's a very close competition, Brooke. 
check it out. The fight for the great Dometic prize pack is going to go down to the wire. If you want more info on today's show, or you're thinking about getting out there yourself, everything you need is on our website. For the lowdown on Tim's gadgets, grab a copy of Caravan World magazine and read his full review. To book any of the fantastic top tourist parks we've visited today, or to find your next holiday destination, make sure you visit touru.com.au before you leave the house. And of course, all the camping and outdoor gear used in today's episode is available at Raise Outdoors. Head into store or visit raiseoutdoors.com.au. Brookie, that brings us to the end of another episode. I really love it here. Tim, I've had a fantastic time and the people are so friendly. No wonder they call it paradise. You know what, Brook? I reckon I could live here. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, do you think we should stay another week? Yes, can we? No. Oh. <laughs> We're heading to Victoria to the beautiful lakes entrance. Oh, well, then join us next week when we hook up and discover... Somewhere, somewhere new, new down, down under. under.